Good afternoon. I'm here to speak about the, um, the gem that uh, was launched upon the, um, the, the unsuspecting mining markets um, when um, Goldman Sachs came out with um, a soundbite that lithium is the new gasoline. Um, this came out a month ago, maybe now. Um, I've actually tracked down the document in which this, um, this statement came out. And you know, one's used to uh, Goldman Sachs is uh, one of the world's leading investment banks, if not the leading investment bank, um, of being weighty, etc. Um, but in fact, it was um, contained within a document that uh, was sort of like a circular um, that was sent out to um, seemingly private clients that would have frankly made even a uh, Vancouver promoter blush um, because um, the, the, it was really a, a gusher about a subject um, which uh, unfortunately Goldman didn't seem to really know all that much. Um, now, you know, the, we've had this tendency in recent years for Goldman to be able to call the shots and um, either in a case of self-fulfilling prophecy back in um, uh, the late last decade, they came up with the BRICS con concept, um, which was uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And that concept really lasted until about the last year or two when it was um, suddenly realized that Russia was totally underperforming the others and um, that, um, that there was a, a, a wide, uh, well, Brazil was also having the wheels falling off it. But for a little while there, um, one, could, uh, one could live the, the delusion that um, the BRIC statement by um, Goldman really set the tone for a decade and a half and may have indeed um, spurred the, um, the commodity super cycle, which I believe was not invented by Goldman but was actually invented by Citibank, uh, an analyst at Citibank. Um, but uh, definitely it set a tone and emerging markets boomed and uh, this was attributed back to the fact that these four economies were dragging the um, emerging or developing economies along. Um, uh, in one uh, sort of uh, rather amusing um, s side effect, um, you know, there was a reference to the BRICS. Um, and many people thought that the S stood for South Africa. Um, South Africa wasn't part of the original conception, and South Africa was definitely not one of the world's most exciting economies as it wallowed in um, labour problems. Um, uh, collapsing currency and, and, and perpetual energy, um, energy dilemmas. Um, so when the lithium is the new gasoline came out, um, it was really pouring gasoline on um, an already um, uh, quite nicely burning fire of its own um, at the, in the lithium space. Well, let's just look at the, the claim. Um, because lithium is the new gasoline makes out that lithium is actually an input that makes the vehicles move. Um, because gas, that's what gasoline does. It's put into the engine of a car, um, of a com combustion engine, and uh, it, it powers the vehicle. But lithium is not that. Lithium is actually the storage device into which the electricity that is put into the car. So electricity is the new gasoline in the, um, in the lithium, uh, lithium battery space because um, you're not really comparing apples and oranges when you um, when you make this claim. There was a chart that was produced a, a while back last, um, last year by um, uh, Signal Box, the, um, the party that produces um, research in the, lim the lithium chemicals space, um, with their estimates of uh, where demand would be going. And um, if anyone wants to find it, they can see it in the October um, PowerPoint of Neo Metals. Um, and it's an interesting chart, which I'd hoped so that we could have had up on the screen, um, because the conclusions of Signum Box, who, who are um, uh, Signum Box, who are one of the, well, if not the leading um, uh, sort of gurus on the statistics in the um, in the lithium space, um, differ dramatically from the prognostications of the analyst at um, at Goldman. Um, so. The statistics guru um, at Signum Box had been projecting that lithium chemicals used in cathodes within rechargeable batteries would be increasing by increments, raising from ten, rising from 10,000 metric tons of lithium carbonate uh, equivalent LCE per annum at the moment to around 25 to 30,000 
tonnes per annum by 2025. That's the increment, the amount that the, um, the previous year's um, uh, production was, well, demand was, um, was being augmented. Um, the Goldman piece, without a source for their projection, which I presume was basically themselves, said that total lithium today is 160,000 metric tonnes of lithium carbonate equivalent per annum. We estimate that a 1% increase in battery electric vehicle penetration will increase lithium demand by 70,000 70, metric tonnes of LCE per year, or roughly half the current global demand for lithium. However, according to the Signum box numbers that I referenced from the Neometals presentation, the LCE used in rechargeable batteries was only 75,000 uh, tonnes per annum. So less than half of what Goldman was claiming was being used. So then we know that um, we, we need to ask ourselves the question of, of whose numbers would we trust? So essentially, um, uh, I think that there's an exciting story in the lithium space. There's, um, there's a rising um, demand for the product um, and a limited supply um, so far. Um, but it is not helpful that, um, that Goldman should have come out with this statement because this really just panders to um, pushing, um, pushing a, a story that without any solid, um, so, solid foundations. So um, that's just my little introduction to um, the, um, the subject of um, lithium is the new gasoline. Thank you.